Congenital heart disease is a, is a structural abnormality of the heart that you're born with. So it's present from before you're actually born. It's present from whenever the organs are forming in the body, when you're in your mother's womb. Any couple who are about to have a child stand a one in a hundred chance of having a baby with a heart defect. No particular reason, it just happens. There's three main areas of problem. Firstly, structural heart disease, where the heart hasn't formed properly. That can range from a small hole to a major problem where half the heart hasn't formed properly. Secondly, there can be rhythm disturbances of the heart. Some of these can actually be detected in the womb. And thirdly, problems with the function of the heart, where the actual structure is normal, but it's not functioning normally. Most babies that have a serious form of heart problem will be diagnosed after they're born, although there has been a great improvement in antenatal screening for congenital heart disease, and we are now seeing a larger number of cases that have been diagnosed before birth. The advantage of an antenatal diagnosis is that parents have time to get prepared for what's going to happen to their baby after they're born. Quite often the first presentation that we have of a child having congenital heart disease is cardiovascular collapse, the child suddenly becoming very unwell, difficulty in feeding, difficulty in breathing, and uh, that can happen within a few days of birth. They are what we call the simple defects and the complex defects. And the simple defects are the ones where there's a hole in the heart or a narrowed valve. It can be various valves, various holes, different places. But in general, these are fairly simple conditions that usually respond either to medical management or treatment usually with a one-off, either an operation or a catheter intervention. So complex cases are where there's more than just a hole or a narrowed valve, usually a combination of holes and narrowed but in addition, more importantly, missing chambers, missing pumping chambers, missing collecting chambers, veins and arteries attached to the wrong vessels, to the wrong chambers, and these defects often need more than one operation to fix, often two or three operations, sometimes with catheter interventions in between or to uh, enhance the effects of the surgery.